Since the end of 2021, Google has not only been introducing new types of campaigns, but also been updating how these campaigns work. With the two new campaign types that we can use being Performance Max, which was launched in November of 2021, and then Demand Gen, Google Ads newest campaign type, which was launched in June of 2023. And we saw a trend in 2024 where Google became really, really super aggressive about the usage of these campaigns. And it's got to the level where pretty much every recommendation that you are getting from the Google Ads dashboard or from any of your Google Ads reps revolves around you either increasing the budgets or adding in a performance max or a demand gen campaign. So what I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to break down how and when when I use these types of campaigns. And at the very beginning of this video, I wanna make it really, really clear that for me, I see Performance Max and Demand Gen as a secondary campaign. And what I mean by that is, I mean that if I'm starting a brand new Google Ads account, I'm not starting with Performance Max or Demand Gen. I'm starting with a search campaign, and if I'm an e-commerce brand, I'm starting with search and shopping. And the reason for why I'm starting with either search only or a combination of search and shopping is because before I move into these newer types of campaigns, fundamentally, I wanna make sure that my ad assets, so my ad copies, if we're using a shopping campaign, my product titles, then we're able to get a high click-through ratio on them. And then I also wanna make sure that we're able to convert. So before we start investing a whole heap of money in Performance Max and Demand Gen, we really need to make sure our landing pages are converting and our offer is something that people want. Now, because people always ask me about specific data points, for me, what I'm really looking at before I even think about starting a performance max or demand gen campaign, I'd want to be seeing a conversion rate of at least 3%. Obviously, we want that to be higher, but I'm not even thinking about it until we get into that 3% level. And until we get to that 3% level, I'm going through and you know, doing through extra ad copy split tests. If we're using it for e-commerce, we're going through and making updates to our shopping product titles. Then we're also making sure that our landing pages and making different changes on our landing pages until we get that conversion rate up to that 3% mark. And then the second thing I wanna see is I wanna see that we've got some good audiences. And what I'm really looking at there, that we've got audiences like our website visitors of at least a thousand, ideally higher, but a thousand as the benchmark. And the reason for why this is so important is because the way that these campaigns operate and while Performance Max and Demand Gen, they are definitely different types of campaigns. They do function differently. For example, Performance Max will also show your ads on the search and the shopping networks, whereas your Demand Gen is got a real heavy focus on video ads and especially YouTube shorts. So there are some differences about these campaigns, but they also have some similarities, which is why I've classed them both as secondary campaigns. Now, in the coming weeks and months, I will be releasing some further videos about Performance Max and Demand Gen and really go into how these campaigns are different. But in this video, I just wanted to let you know why for me they are both secondary campaigns and some core rules that I wanna be really making sure that my account is hitting before we start to engage these campaigns. And the reason for why this is such an important video because as I said, very, very soon, if it's not happening already, for 2025, your phone and your email and your Google Ads dashboard is going to be inundated about you increasing or starting to use Performance Max and Demand Gen. Now, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. And right here is where I release all of the latest trainings about Google Ads. And regardless of whatever campaign you're gonna be using in Google Ads for success, you do need to make sure that you've got your campaigns set up the right way. And to help you with that, if you follow the link in the description below, you can get my campaign setup guide pack, which includes PDF downloads of how you can set up correctly all the different types of campaigns that you want to be using in 2025. So that includes not only Performance Max and Demand Gen, but also shopping, search, display, and video campaigns. And to get all of those set up, guys, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Okay, and let's start with the big thing that both of these campaigns have in common. And that is that they are built to either generate more conversions or to get your ads in front of similar people that what you're already targeting. And this is the foundation for why I say that for me, these are secondary campaigns and they're not lead off campaigns. And that's because for these to function, they rely heavily on Google's AI. And let's just quickly break down what Google actually says about both of these campaigns when it comes to Google's AI. For Performance Max, Google says that it uses its AI to look at your current conversion data and then find other customers that are similar that are likely to convert. So it's looking at your current conversion data, looking at who's converting, and then it goes out to find similar conversions. Whereas for Demand Gen, when it comes to Google's AI, 
AI. Google's AI allows demand gen to optimize to find further customers. And in both cases, what it's looking at is it's taking some core data for performance max, it's more built off your conversion data. For demand gen, it's more built off your seed lists or your audiences that you're feeding into demand gen. It takes that data and then it goes through and builds its targeting around the data that you've already given it. And then this leads into the second thing that these campaigns have in common. And that is that for good results with Performance Max and Demand Gen, you need to already have some really solid positive conversion data and audience data. Now, you may have a Google rep or your Google recommendation, which will say that if you just start these campaigns, Google's AI is smart enough to work it out. Now, I'm not doubting that that is the case, but our data is showing that Yes, it can work it out, but it does take time and it does take money. And that's one thing that a lot of businesses don't have. They don't have, you know, six months to be able to, you know, feed in a couple of thousand dollars a month in order to get this data coming through. And what you really need to remember is, especially for Performance Max, remember that with Performance Max, when you start a new Performance Max campaign, by default, you have to go straight to a smart bidding strategy. So you have to set it for maximized conversions or you have to set it for maximized conversion value. If you don't have any conversion data in your account, Google doesn't know. So it's having to do a whole heap of testing in order to get that conversion data. For demand gen with your audience targeting, it works better when you set in those seed lists, which is basically you giving Google of saying, these are the people that we want to target because we already know we've got con good conversion data. But if you don't know what audiences perform best, once again, you can't give those inputs into demand gen. And this is why I start with search or a combination of search and shopping, because you've got more control. You can, in a controlled environment, really start to build out those audience lists you know, tinker with your ad copy, update and optimize your keyword targeting, continue to work on your landing pages until you get those conversions. So you wanna have a good amount of data in your account so that these campaigns work better. A great way of thinking about it is this, is I'm sure that pretty much the majority of people watching this video would have used ChatGPT before. And we all know that to get better support and answers from ChatGPT, you need to give it better prompts. So if you were to give ChatGPT some pretty simple information, you would get a simple response. The more advanced the information you give it, the better, more tailored the response that you're going to get. That is true for Google Ads, especially with its Performance Max and its Demand Gen campaigns as well. With Performance Max, if you can start a Performance Max campaign with an account that is getting one or two conversions a day, you can be sure that it will do its job and it'll help you scale and increase the performance of your Google Ads account. It's when you start a Performance Max on an account that has no conversion data, where you're seeing poor results. And quite often, that's the complaint that people have about Performance Max. When I go through and have a look at their account and you know the reasons for why Performance Max is not working for them, nearly every time it comes down to this point, they don't have enough conversion data, they don't have enough audience data, they don't have the core fundamentals of high conversion rates and functioning in their account. And if you don't have that, it's, as I said, it's expecting to get a really highly detailed answer from ChatGPT with giving it one or two word prompts. It's just not going to happen. And then the third thing that both of these campaigns, so Performance Max and Demand Gen have in common, is that we are finding that they work best when you really set them aside to find new customers. So for me, I use Performance Max and Demand Gen as part of a full funnel strategy in Google Ads. And what I'm looking at doing there is I'm not looking for Performance Max or demand gen to target traffic, which I know already converts. So I don't want it targeting on brand terms. I don't even want it targeting on my high converting search terms. Also as well, I don't want it targeting audiences which I know already convert. And that's what I'm talking about a full funnel approach is that I'm using Performance Max and demand gen to become a secondary campaign to outreach to new customers once I've got the core data. And this is something that Performance Max and Demand Gen do very, very well. And to really explain this, let's jump into a screen share of a real life account so I can show you how I'm putting together a great account structure using these secondary campaigns like Performance Max. Let's go. Okay, so what I'm taking you through here is, this is actually an e-commerce brand, but we have used this same type of strategy for a lead generation company as well. And we've used this at a lot of different price points. Now for this individual company, they are a brand new brand and they're very much in a growth. So their target for scaling is they need a target of at least a 200% ROAS. Obviously down the track and throughout 2025, we're gonna be increasing that, but that's what they needed to hit in 2024 
in order to meet all of their production costs. Because as you can see through here, we were on a really, really heavy scaling amount just due to, without me giving away too much data about this account, but they had some different contracts in place, which meant they had to hit some production goals in 2024 in order to confirm their contract. As you can see, we got this spend up from $600 a week all the way up to $4,000 a week. And as you can also see, as we've been increasing their costs, we've also seen a really good increase in their conversion value. And you can even see their ROAS as well. Obviously, when we're only spending a little amount, so you can see little jumps here, but the actual conversion value was really, really low. But you can see from here, we've been able to build that ROAS up to above 500% for two weeks. This second one, just keep in mind there that we're only look, this full data is not in here yet. So that will bump up above 500%. Let me just move this over to daily to have a look. Yeah, as you can see, it dips away here once that data gets up. I'm very, very confident that that would be above 500% as well. What I wanna show you in through here is this is the structure that we've actually got. We started with two individual search campaigns and these are based around different products. We also added in a shopping campaign and then what we did from there, so we then added in this performance max campaign. The one thing I want you to notice in there is that this was tagged for new customers. And what we mean by that is that this performance max campaign only targets new customers, no brand. And we've also set it so that it only bids on new customers. And then we also added in a sales remarketing campaign. So what I want you to look at, this is looking at long-term data across all of these metrics. But if we switch this over to 30 days, so we're just looking at from the 13th of December to the 11th of January, I'm recording this on the 13th of January. So not all of the conversion data is in. I want you to have a look at what's been happening, especially with this shopping campaign, where that over the last 30 days is performing above 10. Our conversion value cost is now at above a 3.7. But what you can see through here is that this search campaign, especially this one in here, is providing a lot of the conversion rates and we're getting conversion of 11%, this one at 10%. Our performance max campaign is still performing above target. Remembering 200% was the metric that we had to hit. The conversion rate is a lot lower. What you should have a look at here is through the standard shopping is that we are getting our traffic a lot cheaper. That one's at $1.40. That one is at 277. The other thing that I'll just note in through here as well is I know this isn't 100% on the topic of performance max and demand gen, but for your sales remarketing, I want you to also not worry about the conversion value cost. Also look at the view through conversions. And what I want you to have a look at through here is you can see that this campaign is very much started to play its part in increasing those view through conversions. And that's an overview of how I'll be using performance max and demand gen campaigns. Remember that we're not using them as our primary campaigns. They were using us as a collection of our secondary campaigns. We're looking to build those core conversions in our account first, build up those audiences, and then we can use campaigns like Performance Max and Demand Gen to go and through and target new customers that we want to build our business with. The other thing that I just mentioned at the end of that screen share is remember that when you're reviewing an account, don't just look account line by account line. Look to see how each of those campaigns are interacting with each other in order to achieve your total goal. If you wanna see the step-by-step -step guides on how to set up all of your campaign types the correct way in 2025, follow that link in the description below. And thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. And if you'd like to learn more about how I put together an advanced Google Ads strategy for my individual clients' businesses, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. See you next time.